Hello lovelies, it's Buzz Lovely here with the Very Merry Dollar Tree Challenge where we create a centerpiece using only items from the dollar store. And I have this vase, uh, rope garland, and some flowers. There's also some ribbon, but I don't end up using that. So the first thing that I did was cut these um, flowers off of the bunches so that they were just single flowers to work with. And um, I went with white and gold because I really like that color combination. And I just think it's really simple but really beautiful at the same time. And so I had a hard time cutting it apart with these scissors. So <laughs> I went and got these wire cutter pliers um, from my jewelry <laughs> jewelry making supplies. And those actually worked a lot better because there's actually wire underneath the green part of those flower bunches. And that part that I was just pointing out there is that um, I did have one stem, quote unquote, that didn't have a flower on the top. So just something to keep an eye out that if you have bunches, just make sure there's not like a bunch missing a flower or something. I think I ended up with the right amount of flowers, but I don't know because there was that empty one. So uh, who knows? So then I went, moved on and... Um, I did the exact same thing with the gold flowers and I tried to cut as close to the bottom as I could so I could keep them long so I had enough room to work with. If I wanted to shorten them I could, but you can't add length really. So, And this gold is not really my favorite color because it's a little bit brassy in person, um, but that's the only one that they had and I thought it was fun to do the white and gold. And then I had this little bunch, which wasn't really flowers. I'm not actually sure what they're supposed to be, but they are white and they're really simple, but they add a little bit of texture and dimension to it. So I thought that was kind of fun. So uh, I'm cutting these all apart and then I'm just going to arrange them. So there's that. <laughs> Um, oh, and so I'm trying to take the tag off the bottom of this vase, and of course it rips apart because uh, why wouldn't it? And I had learned, or not learned, but I had heard about this trick where you can get these stickers off using rubbing alcohol, but I didn't have any right near me, but I did have some acetone from uh, taking off nail polish, so I thought I would give that a try to see if that works as well. And it does. Um, I just put a little bit on that pad right there, and that's just like a pad that you can find near the Q-tips. You, some people use it. I use it for removing makeup, um, but in this instance, I was using it earlier to take nail polish off. Um, I'm trying to be really careful with the nail polish I have on in this video because I didn't want to um, remove any of it. So I was trying to be super careful and not hit any off. Uh, which is why I wasn't getting in there with my fingers and just scraping it a little bit. Um, but I did get, <laughs> I had to put the cap on the bottle because I wanted to make sure that I didn't uh, dump it over somehow. I just got a penny and I scraped away at it a little bit. It was um, coming off pretty well. And then I just used the um, pad again to get the rest of that sticky residue off the bottom. So we're good to go. So then I just take this rope garland and it's in this like pale gold, almost silver color and I just stuff it in there and it kind of looks like mercury glass, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but it's really cool actually. And on top of that, when you put the flowers in, it kind of helps them hold their shape because it's like a filler that you're putting the flowers in. So when you're placing the flowers, just start with the bigger flowers or the ones that you have the more of, the most of. <laughs> um, and then there's not really a rhyme or reason to how I put these in. I just put them in a little bit out of time and just kind of what looked good to me as I was going along. Um, I am by no means a professional florist, uh, but I like the way it turned out. It's pretty, I think. Um, and again, there's no pattern or way that I put them in. It's just how it was going at the time. So that's what that looks like. And then I had also had that ribbon. I'd also gotten that ribbon. 
and um, here's me trying to make it work it had some super flashy gold on the side so I cut that off um, just hoping that the white ribbon with the gold flecks in the middle would look good um, and I tie that on here in just a second here and I'm so sorry about the lighting it's really bad but I just didn't like the way it looked tied and then just around here I just I didn't like the way it looked there either um, I felt like I was just adding one thing too many I guess so that's what it looks like. And then to make it more of a festive centerpiece, I added some garland around the vase and I put some tissue paper down, um, like a table runner, I guess. Um, and then I added some gold sparkly ornaments down the center, just three on each side, keeping it simple. And then I topped it off with some bells that actually are kind of shaped like acorns and they were super cute. Um, and that's how it turned out. I had a ton of fun making this project, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe below if you liked it as well. Thanks again for watching. Bye!